Hey, welcome back guys. So today we're talking about the Western Union transfer app and we're just going to do a general overview, a little bit of a review, and then also a show in you kind of how to use the app just real quickly over overview. So let's go ahead and get this started. So first off, I'm going to assume you've already downloaded the Western Union app. If not, click the description. I'll try to leave a download link there or you can easily find it in the App Store or Google Play. So I've already opened my app. This is the home screen here. Let's go ahead and get right into this. So a brief overview of what Western Union is. Basically, you can send money from one location to another location. It's really popular to send money throughout the world through this app. So if you are, let's say, in New York and you need to get some cash to somebody in maybe the Philippines, you can use this and then that person can pick up that money within minutes at a location that's designated for Western Union. So let's go ahead and go into the app. First thing you want to do is send money. This is the most popular option. So click there. Once you go there, it's going to go over the different options on countries that you can send money to. It's going to go over the different countries you can send money to and there's a huge list of them. The only one I couldn't find was Iran, and there might be some other countries, if so, that you know, leave a comment below. Also in this screen, it's gonna give you different options on how you want to send the money and how that person can pick up the money. And it also goes over the different fees that are associated with sending the money to whichever country you are sending it to. So be sure to pay attention to this screen. This one's really important because it's gonna let you know how quickly the person can receive the money and how much you're gonna be charged to send it. It's pretty easy also. It just walks you through the process. So right here at the bottom, it says next. Once you've made all your choices, then you would click next and then just follow the prompts to send money to someone that you know. So next function is pay bills. I'll click there. Okay, this is not a function I've ever used, but apparently some companies will accept Western Union for payments. Maybe they require it. I would guess this is probably for some sort of utilities. So with this one, you want to go ahead and click on the blue button to search billers. All right, so once you have found that, then you want to click on who you're going to be paying. So if your biller accepts it, then they've already registered here. And then what you want to do is click to see how much you're going to pay them. And then you want to click the account number, whatever that might be. So maybe it's your name or your account. And then once you hit the account number, then you'll click there at the bottom continue. I don't have an account number with any of these billers because I don't use that function. But if you do, then once you click continue, just follow the prompts. And that's how you can pay somebody with this app. All right, so here we are back on the home screen. If you're gonna be sending money to somebody else, again, that you've already sent money to, you just click easily click quick resend. And then once you've done that, then it's gonna pull up any kind of contacts that you've already sent money to or that you have listed in your account. And once you've done that, go ahead and click on their name. And once you've clicked on their name, then it's gonna bring you to the send money screen and it will auto populate based off of your previous transaction to them. All right, so if you've already sent money and you wanna see if somebody's picked it up, you just click track transfer on the bottom right, all right? And then just follow the prompts here. So are you the sender or are you the receiver? And then the transfer number right here, just enter it there. Once you've entered that information, then you just click next, follow the prompts, and then it's gonna give you information on if that money has been sent, also if it has been picked up. I've never used this function. If you have, leave a comment below. Let me know if you think that is useful and if it was accurate when you checked on the transaction. All right, and last part of the app we're gonna go over is the menu on the top right here. So on this side, it varies different options you can use with this app. So you can send money, which we've already gone over. Quick resend, we've gone over that. Send money to inmate. I've never used that. Let's go ahead and click on that. Okay, so if you are going to be sending money to somebody in prison, then you can just search for the facility. It looks like they have a couple of facilities that are already pre-populated. Maybe they're just popular facilities that a lot of people send Western Union to. So once you've chosen the facility, just walk through the prompts. I'm sure it's similar to the other functions. If you've ever used this function, let me know how it goes. Is there any fee associated with it? Because I'm not sure if there is or not. All right, so here we are back on the menu screen. So again, there's pay bills, which we've already gone over. Mobile reload, let's click there. Okay, so on this, you can reload somebody's cell phone. So what you wanna do is just follow the information here, click continue, and then you can reload their cell phone. I've never used this function, maybe you have. If you have, please leave a comment below. Let us know what the fees are to reload a mobile with the Western Union app. All right, so again, here we are on the menu screen. So there's track transfer here. We've already gone over that. Pick up cash, we'll click there. All right, so once you click on there, it tells you the instructions on how to pick up cash much faster. So if you're going to be picking up cash that was sent through the app, first you want to click on that button, then answer a few questions about your transfer. Two, go to the Western Union agent. Three, bring your photo ID and the number, and that way you can receive your cash. So again, be sure to bring ID. So once you've gone through this, follow the prompts, and then it's going to give you instructions on how to pick up your money and where to pick up your money. All right, and then the last few little options are going to be find locations. So if you're looking for a location to pick up or drop off money to a Western Union, 
union. Next is your transaction history, and that's going to show who you've paid or what you've received. My WU, I think that's some sort of a point system. I don't really use it too often. As you can see, I only have six points in there, so I don't really care too much about that. Next is your receivers. These are contacts that you send or receive money to. Profile, that's how you change your address, phone number, and the banking and credit card information. And then finally, settings. Let's click on settings. Okay, so here we are in settings. It looks like you can change your language preference, the color scheme. You can enable Touch ID if you have an iPhone. And then you can check the settings if you allow Western Union to see your contacts, use your camera, also check your location with this app. All right, so there you have it. That is the Western Union app. Hopefully you like the review. Again, this is just a broad overview on the functions for the Western Union mobile app. If you're looking for information on how to send money through Western Union, be sure to check out my other video, how to send money through Western Union app. And if you like the video, click thumbs up and I hope that I see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.